public television and taking advantage of the special thank you gifts that we're offering this morning. It was another day and another pledge drive at the studios of WCBE in Chesterfield today, but what bothers people here is a Republican plan to cut funding to the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. While WCBE says it won't go off the air, officials at Channel 23 say the station could lose up to 20 percent of its budget. We're certainly hoping for something between what we've heard and, uh, frankly, the full funding we'd like to keep. While in Richmond today, Senator Chuck Robb offered some optimism. He told us he hasn't had time to look over the Republican agenda, but... I happen to think that support for both public television and the arts, if it's done reasonably, makes sense. And Virginia's Democratic senator isn't alone. Most people believe the government should fund public broadcasting. I think the, def the government should definitely support PBS. Of course, I think it should be funded. Uh, I think it should be funded. Uh, um, there's a lot of good in public TV. Right now, officials at WCVE say it's too soon to tell if the proposal will go through. But if it does, they say, the station would have to get more aggressive about its fundraising. And that means viewers could start to see more breaks into their programming for fun drives like this one. Or they could start to see more of these. They're flyers asking the public to make a donation and become a member of Central Virginia's public television. About 75% of the dollars we receive come from businesses and, and individual contributors. Which means pledge drives are a big part of the business, but the station says it will never make up for critical government funding. In Chesterfield, Newland Archinal, WTVR News Channel 6.